What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the YouTube channel. Here with you at Cool Crypto, where we talk about all... No, no, I'm going to stop that because we're not talking about all your favorite cryptos right now. We're talking about my favorite crypto. We're talking about Lillian. Now, um, obviously, there, there's a reason for that, which I will get into detail later for some of you who uh, might be watching or some of you who are watching at the current moment. I'll just go out and say now. Um, I feel like this is the only project right now that I can not only just handle, but the only project that has truly been delivering has, has been there for the community. And that's why I'm going to focus my attention on it. So, but um, yes, so today I have a special guest on the stream today, which I'm going to be bringing in in just a second. We have the one and only you can clone me. Got a lot of haters and a lot of homies. Luis Figueroa, uh, he's actually going to be the new director of the Lillian Bay Foundation. So I want to bring him in. I'm going to ask him a couple of questions. And obviously, I did get the blessings from Barney, the avocado man, to go ahead and uh, barbecue on this beautiful day. So we're going to be grilling him with some of the hardest questions that, you know, we grill people usually when they step into office uh, just to see if he's worthy, uh, if he's worthy of me on here. For those of you who are Marvel fans. I'm a huge Marvel fan, but guys, um, I know on my, sorry, I have to, I have to think where the camera is, but on my left side, you guys see a mess right here. Yes, there is a huge mess, but this is a child's room. Okay. Um, I did move the bed so it could block because I was getting a bunch of DMS. People uh, were making fun of me about my super Mario bed blankets. I mean, my kids, super Mario bed blankets. Um, yeah, but Hey, we got DeFi drew all that cool. What is happening? DeFi drew. How you doing today, buddy? Thank you for joining the live stream. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way in. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Now, before I bring Lewis in, um, I also want to give you guys a quick disclosure. I am not a financial advisor, although I appear to look like one. You guys already know I have a day job. So uh, as soon as I got off of work, I came to the stream. Uh, second and foremost, always do your own research, man. For God's sake, do your own research. And third of all, if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe um, because at the 500 holder mark, I know this, was, this has been going on for some time, but once we hit 500 holders, I am going to be giving away $300 in Lillian Finance token. Uh, the terms are yet to be uh, disclosed as far as how we're going to be doing the drawing, whether it's going to be at the 500 subscriber or it's going to be a random draw once we hit 500 subscribers. We're still working the details out, but yes. Um, one of my moderators, obviously, Luna Bimbu Lori, she could not make it to the stream. Uh, she did let me know that, obviously, she loves the community and everybody. And thank you guys for joining or whoever's going to be watching this later. But uh, my next uh, my next guy, man, Luis Figueroa, who's been with me since the beginning and the Lillian team for the beginning over here, um, helping with the channel, helping with the Telegram, helping in Twitter, helping any way he can, man. I want to go ahead and give him a big hand. Um, and a plus, and, and I feel like there's some, there's no other person out here that deserves this more than him. So there he is, guys. Uh, the man of the hour, we got Luis Figueroa. Um, man, I, I'm speechless, man. You walked into the room and now I don't know what to say, Luis. Nothing's changed, man. But before we really get started, one, thank you for having me on. Uh, and we're gonna have fun over the next hour. But I wanted to introduce you guys to the folks who are very important to me in, in my life, right? And that is my daughter and my wife. So before we get into any of the questions, come on, yeah. say hi to the camera. Well, this is our, my daughter, Camila, and this is my wife. Hello. Hello. Hi. Cool. So I wanted to you? finally get to meet them um, because they are an important part of my life and obviously inspirational to the work that we're going to be doing moving forward. So say bye. Bye. All right, okay. let's go. And I got to tell you, Louis, they're very lucky to have you, man. I can only imagine how much uh, work uh, you're putting in at home with the family. Um, yes. You know, if your dedication with us is really strong, you're putting in work here. I can only imagine the amazing dad and amazing husband you are. I try, man. You know, that's all we can do is try to be the best that we can. And uh, I show up every day. So that in itself is important to me. So I'm very glad that we finally got to meet um, baby baby bolts, <laughs> wifey <laughs> bolts. <laughs> hey, um, I, 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 I just put two and two together, man. I see that you're. Uh, I'm a little bit slow when it comes to these things, attention to detail sometimes. But 
Uh, Crypto Bulls, does it have to do anything with uh, with the Chargers, man? With the number one team in the AFC West? Oh, man. Of course they need to, they need to go back to San Diego. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was I, I love them even when they were in San Diego. Obviously, I was stoked when they came to LA, you know. And uh, you know what, dude? I gotta give it to them because they were um, they're a frank franchise like no other. Uh, that's one of the biggest things that the San Diego, the people of San Diego, because I used to work in San Diego years back. Yeah, they were really proud of their Chargers, even though they were losers sometimes. Sorry to be so blunt about it, but it's kind of just like the Lakers. Yeah, it's all bad or ups and downs. You know, the Chargers have definitely had a lot of downs, but things are looking good. Things are looking up. That that's glad. Now um, we got DeFi Drew in the chat. He said, "Great news: crypto knowledge and foundational knowledge in one package." Lewis, he's the man. He's the man. Um, We got Armando in the chat. What's up, Armando? What's up, fam? Um, And DeFi Drew, hola, hola. Um, I'm starting to assume that DeFi Drew is bilingual. I think so. Or he knows a little Spanish. Nice. Well, check this out, Louis. The reason why I brought you to the channel today, and I appreciate you taking the time um, off to, you know, answer some of the questions that are probably in uh, a lot of investors' minds. Obviously, when somebody new comes into office, we want to make sure that it's the right person. Now, I don't doubt it because I know who you are and I know how educated you are. So I want to start off with the first question. Um, as the new Lillian Bay found uh, Lillian Foundation director, um, well, talk to me a little bit about your new role. What does it consist of? Yeah, you know, I think uh, I'm grateful for the opportunity that was given to me by you know our Lillian Finance team leadership for me to step into this role. And you know, the role in itself, director of the foundation, right, is pretty much managing the day-to-day operations of the foundation moving forward. Uh, and for me, what that means it's ensuring that we're we're clicking on all cylinders to put it frankly um, and easily but it also means to lead the foundation to where we see the full potential to be and that full potential can be in my eyes in the next five years is a nationally recognized um, nonprofit and for that to happen there needs to be a lot of work and cultivation that needs to take place but with the right team um, and the right folks around myself uh, and the community I wholeheartedly believe that we can do that that Lillian Bay Foundation could be a nationally recognized nonprofit specifically around saving the lives of children um, with the care that they need. Now, you've been you've been with uh, Lillian from the beginning. Um, You know, you're also one of the day ones. How do you feel knowing that, hey, man, you walked into an opportunity of a lifetime? Did you ever think that you were going to be where you're at today? No, Uh, to be honest with you, right? No. it's been a very remarkable journey, to say the least, if you think about it in those terms. Uh, you know, being on the telegram, meeting you, meeting all of the folks in there and just being there on a day-to-day basis, but they're feeling so connected to the project from day one. You know, we launched on there, we were there for launch night and everything. And I was like, wow, we're part of something very early and special. I just want to be part of this. I've never been a part of something so early and something that I see so much potential in. And look where it's gotten us over the last six months, right? It's pretty crazy, man. It's pretty crazy and also very exciting that we have so much room to still go and how early we still are in this project and company. And and I actually want to touch up on something that you said, Louis. Um, it, it does feel like it's an opportunity of a lifetime, um, not only because we got in early, but I know for majority of us who are somewhat savvy in the crypto space and somewhat know what we're doing and how we're navigating the waters. But um, because we got in early, but because we also know what the team is about, what they're doing, um, the fundamentals of the project and what their overall goal is, um, I I, I think this is probably the perfect opportunity to to, to be fair. Um, And on top of that, I mean, the accomplishments that we already have, I mean, we're just checkmarking things across the board and One of the biggest things is that I've always said, yes, crypto moves at a really, really fast pace. We move at 10,000 miles per hour. I get it. Sometimes people want utility um, overnight. Sometimes people want um, new exchange listings overnight. And I get that. But I always believe that if we're going to do something, it has to be done right. And things take time. 
Um, it's I, I don't I think the majority of the things that we have accomplished is not something that can be accomplished overnight yet. Look at where we're at. We're February, March, April, May, June, July. We're five months down the line. Um, in those five months, we've already secured exchanges. Uh, we've already saved children. Uh, we're looking to work with NFTs from what, you know, Cody mentioned in the Twitter space. Um, there's a lot of things that we're still working with. So I know you guys have been bombarding us with announcements this week, and I'm very, very excited and very bullish on what's to come. But um, with that said, I just wanted to touch up on that, man. I think... Uh, everybody who's here early, dude. I mean, they're gonna be they're gonna be here, and they're gonna be looking at uh, at, at these prices that we're at right now. Once, obviously, when we get where we need to be, and they're gonna be like, "Wow, man, uh, they really were right." Agreed. Agreed. Right. So, um, yeah, just want to give a quick shout out, TKO Attic. We got we got them in the house. We got Stadi Crypto. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, buddy? Um, and yeah, so DeFi Drew did confirm that he does speak un piquito of Spanish. Um, but yeah, man. So next question, um, Lewis, uh, how did you get here, bro? Um, uh, you know, how did you go from investor day one, um, to shilling 24 seven in the telegram? How was this opportunity presented to you? Yeah, man. Um, before I answer that question, I think a lot of credit needs to be given to our development team and leadership team over the last two weeks, you've seen the on-ramp of announcement after announcement after announcement. And that comes from, you know, them hearing, from our community members directly, what is it that I felt needed to be done? And then giving some of our community members the power or the empowerment to go ahead and do that and create that change and be those liaisons that are making connections day in and day out and taking people's visions and following through with them and supporting them. So that's a, a direct um, result of that leadership. So kudos to Martin, Cody, Brad for that happiness and we're seeing the results. I mean, if y'all thought this week was was good. Just wait to see what's the time over the next couple of months. Um, but to answer your question of how it all came about, how it all came full circle, again, man, I feel such a tight connection to the project. Um, but I, I took it personal when I started seeing all the negativity. I think all of us react that same way. Uh, and I felt there was an opportunity to educate, really, um, a lot of folks who kept spitting out false information. And from there, right, I became a moderator. And continuing that same rhetoric of actually you're wrong in this statement uh like this is what it actually is and what is not and then up until recently a lead administrator however i still work in nonprofit. Nonprofit is something that i've done throughout my entire career you know i started my career um in public service actually as a senior official with the uh, mayor of san francisco's um inner circle you can say in operating constituency services with local neighborhoods so really understanding what it means to build relations with people and working on initiatives and rolling that out, right, from an administration standpoint. And from there, working with a nationally recognized nonprofit, moving through the ranks, almost operating as a chief of staff role for our um, executive director in Los Angeles, and then working in the progressive education space is where my career has been over the last eight years, maybe. Uh, but still, it's working with nationally accredited nonprofits. So I know the ins and outs of how this works, how fundraising works how you bring in people, how you share the narrative of the organizations that you're working with to capture audiences and educate others around what your mission is. And, you know, I've been talking to Cody and Barney and Brad about, I want to be involved more. And this opportunity presented itself. We had a few conversations and they they gave me a shot is what I said, what I feel, right? They give me, they're giving me a shot uh, to do some great work and I'm, I'm taking it personal uh, because like you did say, it is a once in a lifetime opportunity, but I also see the once in a lifetime uh, potential of Lillian Bay Foundation. Again, for us to be in the next five years as a nationally accredited and nationally recognized brand in the nonprofit space would be a very successful win. However, there's a lot that needs to go into that, that I will play a really pivotal role in getting us there. I think, you know, um, I'm actually really confident in, in the potential that I have for the foundation. However, also all the folks around me, you know, Dr. Ari, Michelle, uh, Brad, all of us working together in collaboration to really get the Lillian Bay Foundation, the recognition and it, it deserves. So coming comes full circle, man, to, re, to be honest with you. And I got to say, I think it's I think it's crazy how the universe works, man. Um, I keep going back to launch, man. You were 
You were put you were put there for a reason. You obviously um, learned about the project. Uh, you talked about the project, and you know you loved it as much to say that you wanted to be involved in. You know, in what way can you give more back to um, helping get this off the ground? And look at you where you are, man. So, um, good things come to those folks who work hard. But I want to touch up on one of the things you say, man, because uh, I got to clarify the the space here because. Some people, I, I've received DM saying that I, I'm I'm a little bit of a, a fast trigger or a hard gun when it comes to this thing, saying, hey, Lillian's about respect, and I don't know what. I don't mean any disrespect when I reply to negativity or anything, but I this is something that me and you were chatting about prior to entering the entering the studio. Uh, guys, please don't take anything that I say to, to offense. Um, you know, I, I protect my tribe as much as I can, but um, I'm a huge believer when it comes to free speech. Um, you know, I'm not going to stop you from saying what you need to say, but, um, you're crossing the line when you're coming here and disrespecting the, the tribe, uh, consistently. So th that's just some of the things that I do not tolerate, but I got to say the reason why I bring this up, man, is I give kudos to you and to everybody else because everybody else is, um, well, Barney calls a very kumbaya about it. Um, I'm more of the, Hey man, shut your mouth if you don't like it. <laughs> But um, I know that's not what we're all about. That's not obviously the message that we're trying to portray. Obviously, we want to make sure that we uh, that we let them know that, hey, you know, uh, we're still here regardless. But uh, it, don't mess with the tribe, man. Don't mess with the tribe. <laughs> um, so check this out, man. Another one of the things that I did want to ask you is uh, now that you are the director of the of the foundation side, um, what are some of your plans? What do you look forward to being in office, as we say? Yeah, no, that's a great question, man. And what I want people to also understand is what I keep, you know, I've said it, I think, a couple of times right now. I keep saying nationally recognized nonprofit. What I want that to be is nationally recognized as a nonprofit that is saving lives on a week-to-week -week basis. In the, in the upper echelons of, you know, St. Jude's nonprofit, being synonymous with those type of organizations in the next five years is obviously a key goal and i've alluded to there's a lot of work that needs to get there and i think one of the first things i want to do that i mentioned to both brad and barney is a strategic plan focused on getting us there you know i think right now my first i don't know i'm gonna say my first 30 days is really focused on learning developing that narrative closing out the 501c3 status um because once that's in play right we can start soliciting traditional investing to learn about the Lillian Bay Foundation, begin generating uh, revenue to fund more surgeries and really get that rolling, but really focus on really tight milestones and benchmarks over the next year or two to then build the arm ramp for the next five. I plan on being here for a very long time. I also plan on being here as long as I'm wanted here uh, because I believe that the Lillian Bay Foundation is a very strong catalyst for Lillian finance in general. You've heard me say that in multiple instances in, in any of the live streams if we do this work correctly and it att is attracting industries from all sectors what a better way to look at us as a catalyst for mass adoption right what better way for us to educate families that we serve on cryptocurrencies and the benefits of of, of cryptocurrency and digital platforms so again so much potential and that's why the moment this was offered to me it was like i'm taking it i'm gonna run with it I have the support team that I need to do this. And we are on the cusp of some amazing things. But to give you an insight of where my head is at in real time, right? It's learning from Brad, learning the inspiration and in internalizing that in a way that is then reflected out as our brand of the Learning Bay Foundation, implementing a strategic plan focused on brand exposure and focused on growth. When I think about growth, is how are we going to grow this team over the next five years? Right now, it's myself. And I think Dr. Ari and Michelle, but where did, how do we build it out an excellent team? I have contacts that I know once this is off the ground, I'll attract Harvard MBAs, I'll attract folks that are working in tech as in Google and those folks that I've built relationships over the years that I can then call and say, hey, I got a spot for you here. Come support me in this mission. And that is playing into the role of a nationally recognized nonprofit, um, building and extending our partnerships portfolio. What does external affairs look like for the Lillian Bay Foundation, given our unique um, aspect of, of healthcare, right? How do we then, how do I, I build out that portfolio from the contacts that Brad already has and Dr. Ari and whatnot. NFTs is a big platform that we are going to be launching 
within the foundation and be a driver and catalyst for our growth moving forward. That's an immediate need that needs to be met and we'll be working on quickly. Uh, and then our board of directors, how are we leveraging those contacts and network for them to bring in additional folks, all with the key of growing our brand and growing the opportunity for us to save lives. This is real time, right? I still haven't fully digested it over the next, this was like 24 hours of me being, putting my Lily and Bay cap on, but this is where I'm focused on, right? And it's not about me. It's not about you. For me, the Lillian Bay Foundation is above anything else. The Lillian Bay Foundation for me is what will get us the opportunities that we need. And, we, and I need to treat it as like nothing is bigger than me, right? This is not about me. This is about saving lives and whatnot. So DeFi Drew, I see your comment, man, with a plan. That's not the plan yet. That's where I'm going towards. The plan will trust me. will have milestones and benchmarks that will hold myself and our leadership team accountable because we owe it not only to ourselves, but we owe it to the families that we're serving. So I am excited, as you can tell. Uh, and I put a little bit of thought process behind this, but give me some time and, and we'll really get it rolling. Man, dude, that was amazing, man. And you know what? Um, I say I go back to what I said at the beginning, man. I think you're the guy for the job, man. So obviously, Brad, uh, Barney, uh, Cody, everybody who's part of the team had a, you know, had an influence in this decision. Um, in, in case he didn't correct me if I'm wrong, but um, they made the right decision. Now, with that being said, um, I, I want to go back a little bit to how you, how now being so involved, and I know you have a family, um, which you did present to everybody. We got to meet uh, the wife, we got to meet the daughter. Um, you know, you're on Telegram, you're on Twitter now, Lillian Bay uh, Foundation Director. Um, and obviously, you have your full time job, and we all know spending time with the family is a must. How do you find balance with all of this, brother? It's hard, man. It's really hard sometimes, but there's a lot of discipline here. And there's a lot of understanding for my wife. I can tell you, I can honestly tell you there was, we had a conversation about a month ago where she was like, you're spending a lot of time on there. And I told her, I was like, you know what? I acknowledge that you said that to me, but there's something here that drives me to do this. Like, I feel like there's something that driving me to do this for some reason. And she got it. She didn't say like, you know, um, she wasn't angry. She understood and, and said, you know what? There's a reason why you're so focused on this. And look, it, it, it paid dividends. But even if it wasn't this role, man, there is just something about Lily and that there's a there's a connection for me that is very important. And, you know, I, I, I'm disciplined enough to I know I have to spend time with my my wife and daughter. And, and I want to make sure I stick to that because that's important for us. It's important for self-sustainability. Burnout is a real thing. I experienced burnout a couple of years ago because I can go 18, 20 hours a day, seven days a week when when, when it's needed. And it, when it hits, when burnout hits, it's pretty rough. But I got to build time in for family. And I think Brad and Barney and Cody are very understanding of that, that if I tell them I need an hour off to focus on family, it's not even going to be quick. You know, it's going to be like it's expected, actually. And we hope to carry that on as we bring more people to the team. That family will always come first. And... We try to echo that in the Twitter community, right? With folks who are like, why aren't they working on Sunday? Or why aren't they working on Saturday? It's a weekend. It's supposed to be spent time with family. We understand when it's cyclical and times you need to lean in and, and keep grinding out. But at the end of the day, your family is your support system and they are as much part of the process as you are. So that's what I hope to continue doing. Yeah, and I, and I want to highlight this real quick because it's something that you mentioned. Um, it's kind of related to what you mentioned. I mean... Trust your instincts. So, Jim B., I think you hit it right on the spot, brother, because um, the, the way Lewis just explained it to us right now, um, and he had the courage to send up to his wife like that, I don't know how it would have gone for me, um, SOS and help. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding, man. Um, you trusted your instincts, man, and, and you and you mentioned to her that, hey, you know, this is very important. This is something that I truly believe that will eventually get us, you know, you know, um, to the next level. Um you went with your instinct and, and look where you're at now. So I'm pretty sure now she's looking back and saying, man, I, I can't doubt this guy again. But trust your instinct overall, man. If you guys ever have a feeling that something is eventually going to go right, um, and even if it goes wrong, just know that, hey, you know what? You did your best. Um, you gave it your best shot and you did everything you could to make things right. So always go with your instinct and never let anybody um, give you a doubt for a second or put, put a doubt in your mind that you cannot accomplish something because this right here – Brother, it's living proof, man. And once again, I'm very, very happy for you, man. And then one other thing that is funny is, you know, 
folks in the community recognized, I want to say my ability to lean into this space, right? And I remember Cody a while ago was just like, hey, you know, would you be interested in, in nonprofit work? I was like, yeah, obviously. And he's been a huge advocate in, in believing in me, for sure. And when uh, this opportunity presented itself, he's like, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You should think about it. Uh, and kudos to him for pushing me to get out of my comfort zone, to be honest with you. You know, I, I do have a good job. I'm not, I don't have anything against my current employer and whatnot, but this is a one in a lifetime opportunity. And he took the little devil off of my shoulder and listened to the angel that said, go ahead and do it and see where it goes and run with it. So Cody Glenn, I know if you're listening or not, Steph, I see you. I think you're Steph. Um, let the gentleman know. Uh, thank you for, for being that support system for me. I can't hear you. I don't know if folks can't hear you. My bad, brother. I was <laughs> muted, man. I'm muting because I have kids in the background that are yelling, dude. And I don't know if you guys can hear them too, but um, so damn, I lost my train of thought, man. <laughs> but see, um, when when it comes to when it comes to this type of situation, I mean, what better way to be involved than than with crypto? Obviously, we love it. We have adopted it. It's playing a major role in some of our lives here. Um, and, and to me, dude, it just sounds like a dream come true, man, being in your position. I mean, it really is, man. It really is. And I love engaging with everyone on a day-to-day -day basis. And the fact that I get to do this now um, as an official part of the team just makes it even sweeter. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see where we all end up and where this journey takes each and every one of us. Uh, but there's a lot of work to be done. And I'm excited to, to lean in and, and see where we can what we can do together. I think one of the biggest things that, that has me right now, which I, I'm very, very excited for, obviously, because this is what's going to bring uh, growth to our uh, to the project. I, I love to call it our Lillian, our baby Lillian. But um, one of the biggest catalysts for me has been, obviously, the completion of the 501c3, um, not only because it's pending a tier one listing, right? That we cannot disclose, obviously, which I'm trying to go back to all these uh, tweets that they've been sending out to see if there's any cryptic messages somewhere hidden in there. Uh, but there's only so much investigating I can do before I get yelled at by the wife. But, um, you know, that that's being one, man. So if if um, exchanges are willing to, to, to put us there, um, tier one exchanges for whatever reason, because of what we're doing and they love the idea of what we're doing, um, not only that, but then we also have uh, big names or big money that's looking to put some money back into the foundation or the, the crypto side of it just so that they can get these kids helped out. Because we all know there's major celebrities that contribute millions and millions of dollars to certain foundations um, that kind of do the same thing, but without the crypto side of it. So obviously, crypto is where we are headed. Uh, mass adoption is going to be somewhere down the line in the future. I'm not saying it's going to be tomorrow, but people are learning about this on a regular basis, on a continuous basis, um, especially celebrities. Now you see um, a bunch of celebrities either, uh, either I would want to say advertising or promoting, but they're involved with certain projects. You can buy music from certain tokens now, utilizing that, that token itself, but um, just just think about the possibilities, um, you know, of, of the people who are currently investing huge amounts of money uh, to these charities. So what is it going to do for us? I think this is eventually uh, going to catch fire. And because um, I recently learned that we're not the only ones that are doing this. There's a couple of tokens in the in the medical industry that are looking to obviously put a name out there for themselves. But. Honestly, I think uh, out of all of the ones that are out there, I, I honestly think that we're probably one of the one of the ones that have our ducks in a row and have a lot to offer. So with people waiting in line for us to be able to say, hey, we got that 501c3 down um, and people want to be putting in money to what we're doing. I think that's eventually going to bring the growth and the momentum. Um, I think it's going to be a huge catalyst that's going to that's going to get us where we need to be. What are your thoughts on that, Lewis? I think that's dead on, man. I think what. um what sets us apart is that, yes, there is, you can say, blockchain technology in, in the medical field, right? That is pretty much um, isolated 
They're not working on a holistic approach in order to capture medical finance. They're also not connected with crypto like we are. Um, but with all that you just said, I do think what you all haven't really connected yet is I'm in Los Angeles. This is the epicenter of showtime, right? You got the Lakers, you got LeBron James, you got all the celebrities. Uh, more than an athlete campaign, so LeBron James and his Akron Foundation in Ohio is really focused on uplifting and empowering um, youth of color. All these connections, this is a hub. This is a hub of the folks that we need, but it's going to take time to build those relationships. But I'm regionally located in a very strategic part of the country. Um, you know, obviously, I'm not in, in the East Coast. Brad's there. But I will make sure to empower and prepare Brad when he is having meetings in the East Coast that I'm not able to attend to rock it out. And we're technically, if you, if you really want to step back and look at it, I have one half of the country, he has the other, uh, and we can divide and conquer. And I think that is, again, going back to nationally recognized nonprofit. Um, and the crypto side will gain momentum. And obviously, I'm biased because now I am the director of the foundation. And I think the foundation is going to be a huge catalyst for, for Lilly and finance because we can attract a traditional investing. We can say... For an example, LeBron, let's partner up with your youth uh, in Akron, Ohio. Let's think of something that we can do to give back to families. The way that you can do that is through give it, gifting the foundation money. Then we can, at the, sign, at the same time, raise awareness around our crypto company and how it's all interconnected. And there's celebrities. Snoop Dogg is huge on NFTs. Guess where Snoop Dogg is? Long Beach is 45 minutes from here. He's uh, up the street from us, bro. I have a cousin that knows him. <laughs> Miss Khalifa is also big. You know, all the all, all our rap artists, quite frankly, which are popular and not popular, are huge on NFTs. They're all here. Uh, and you know, it's it's a very interesting time for us to be really being strategic about how we're gonna move forward because people are interested. It's about how we're sharing our negative our narrative uh, to these folks. And I think once we get the story and narrative right. It's compelling. What can, how can you say no to the opportunity of saving lives in an immediate need without the red tape and getting the services that these family needs right away? Tell me, how are you gonna shoot that down? Uh, and if you do, I'll have the talking points to convince you to, to think otherwise. And you know what, man? I think it's crazy. And I thought about this immediately right after you made your announcement because uh, we know Brad is covering East Coast. We know uh, Cody um, and Barney are covering the Texas area, and then you're covering West Coast. It, it looks that like we got everything lined up properly like it needs to be, man. So I don't know, man. I, I just think this couldn't happen at a, at a better time. And um, once again, I'm, I'm very happy to see I don't think about it. I could see Barney and Cody chuckling right now. When they're <laughs> when they painted that picture, they're probably like, yeah, we know this already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we have again, a very, very unique opportunity with so much potential to do great work, man. And that's what it comes down to. For me, it's not going to be about the money. It's not about being out there. It's about how many lives are we saving on a week to week basis and how we're, we're changing the trajectory of, of, of kids, you know, to have normalcy in their, in their lives moving forward. That's what it comes down to. That's where the work, that's what the work really is about. It's not about all everything around it. At the end of the day, it's about how many lives we're saving on a week to week basis and how our kids can have more of a normal life growing forward, moving forward. Uh, man, that's well said, brother. Um, we got Barney in the comments section over here. Um, <laughs> since 1997, J-Lo has had five rings, the Cowboys zero. That's going to be a diss to Jim B over here who's – oh, wait, no. Jim B doesn't root for the Cowboys, but okay. Um, <laughs> got Cody in the chat. Um Man, do you got so many people turned out who came out here to see you? Obviously, you have so much support from the community. Um, what, what's something that that you can tell the community to rest them assure that you are here uh, and you mean business? I mean, I hope in everything I share today, right, gives them confidence uh, that I am here for the long term. It's not about me. It's about getting our foundation to a place that we're saving lives and I'm not taking this as a joke. I'm not taking this as like, um, you know, if, if if I don't make it here, I'll go somewhere else. This is the place I want to grow. And stability for me is important. Stability also shows credibility in organizations, right? So if I'm here for five years, donors will like that. Donors donors pay attention to things like that. You know, I've worked in nonprofits. Executive directors are, 
attracting money because they've been involved for so long. If they see a lot of turnover, it actually loses credibility of what of, of the work we're trying to do. Uh, and guess what? I'm gonna give it 110% day in and day out. Um, this is actually not a bad idea. So I'm going to shout it out to um, Armando, uh, give you a huge shout out while you're out here in the chat, man. Thank you for joining us and everybody else who's here. Uh, real quick, before um, before we get go on to this, um, I just want to let you guys know, if you guys are enjoying the content, don't forget, hit the like button. Make sure you guys let YouTube know that Cool Crypto is, uh, you guys are enjoying the stream. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys hit subscribe as well. Uh, we mentioned it earlier, and we've been mentioning this for some time. Uh, there will be a $300 LY giveaway, uh, not sponsored by LY at all. This is coming st directly from me to the. Uh, we don't know how this is going to work out just yet. We don't know if it's going to be a random draw or if it's going to be at the 500 subscriber, whoever that is. But we will work out the details as, lo as long as we get closer to that uh, range. But don't forget, guys, hit the subscribe button. Uh, for those of you hitting on subscribe and subscribe, I don't think that's going to help, but okay. Um, but yeah, hey, I think we should do a burn to celebrate. Lewis, how can we get there, man? <laughs> I have no say in that, man. Absolutely no say. That will be the day, right? That will be the day. Barney will roll over and find a way to, to grab me somehow and not in the not bad appropriate way. He's going to he's gonna fee Cody. Um, I don't know what you mean by that, Barney, but I think he meant fire. Do you have the ability to fire anybody, Lewis? myself oh I, man but no man no, <laughs> uh, we got uh stephanie vornberg uh lewis is our boy yes he is uh we got lillian finance in the chat is that the official um lillian find that or is that um just somebody who named well whoever it is champa florida baby oh, right, man. <laughs> um yes fire me i won't leave though i'll be i'll be the hobo hanging around the lobby <laughs> Taking advantage of the free room service, uh, not the room service, the whatever you call the catering. If you guys have anything over there like that, <laughs> um, Lewis, in my humble opinion, seems to be the right person for the job. Um, he has best of luck, bud. Uh, we are Linian, uh, fire, and then we got uh, Stephanie again, but we love Cody. Um, I mean, we love everybody who's part of the team, everybody has their own little things that they bring into the table that make us who we are. So um, whether it comes from Michelle, whether it's Lewis, whether it's Cody, Barney, Brad, everybody has their own attributes uh, that make Lillian who it is. And they're going to continue to involve, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is just the beginning. As much as you guys want to say, well, we're here five months, you know. Yeah, we're here five months. If you guys look at all these major corporations or major companies who are bringing in stacks of cash, do you guys really think they grew overnight? And I know this example is used on a daily basis. Like, oh, Rome wasn't built overnight. It really wasn't. So um, like we said earlier, yes, crypto does move at 10,000 miles per hour, but we just need to take take a step back and, and look at the situation. Obviously, we know they're putting in the work. Uh, we're not just doing burns. We're involved in the DeFi double shot. Um, the developers are out here, man. And, um, and I've said this before. You see a lot of crypto projects before the bear market were like blasting stuff left and right. Lewis, can you agree with me? Have a lot of these projects not diminished or disappeared? I mean, yeah, man. You know, I think we, we've we've been holding very steady. And a lot of it goes to our utility, right? Our, our potential. Again, we were talking about something prior to the chat. And, you know, the, the, the bear market is, is getting rid of all the... All the, the, the products that don't have the power or the fundamentals, you know, to survive, and we'll probably see more of that come down. But we're in a good spot. Man. We're in a really good spot. I believe we are. Uh, before we before we cap this off, we are going close to forty five minutes, and I know everybody. Obviously, you, you have your family. Um, I have my family, and all I've had was tricks for dinner. So, um, you know. Brad and Lily are here, yes, so your bosses are here. <laughs> um, everybody's here, man. I really appreciate everybody once again. Um, with that, with, go ahead, brother. Sorry, man. I want to share one last thing because I didn't put it to perspective till now as we're reflecting. You know, my wife is a registered nurse, and she's a clinic unit supervisor at her hospital in South Los Angeles. So she's been in healthcare for, all, for this entire time. Um, her hospital, Martha Luther King Community Hospital, was part of a New, New York Times story when in COVID, but she's always been in healthcare and always been in education. And look at the full circle now, right? We're both in healthcare. 
uh, and her hospital, I think, will be a very important lever and connection to make, as well as Cedar sinai Cedar sinai is a world-renowned hospital that is filled with talented surgeons for regular people and celebrities. I think the Kardashians go to Cedar sinai as much as you might uh, have your opinions on that, but all our celebrities seem to to go to the mecca of, of, of care, and that is uh, Cedar sinai So I look forward to that end. Man, full circle indeed. Full circle indeed. <laughs> there you go, man. Um, we got a couple more comments over here where Study Crypto is insisting that we go back to the burn, but um, he's not the guy. Um, the guys that want to do the burn, you want to talk to him, they're in the chat. They're just ignoring that comment. So um, instead, they responded saying tricks are for kids, but okay. Um, eventually, they'll talk to us about a burn. Hopefully, hey, we are having another uh, full moon or something like that um, somewhere, somewhere down the line this year, November, they said, right? I think sometime in November, what, what, are we doing a burn? Barney, um, Cody, if you guys want to chime in on that in the comment section, I am not going to say no to that. <laughs> um, we got Trip R for Kids. Uh, yes, Trip R for Kids as well. Tricks. <laughs> um, but Tricks are for kids. No, they're for grownups, man. I, I eat them all the time. And actually, you know what? Sorry, I, I started to... Um, Degret, uh, sorry to deter from the our original conversation, but I actually buy the the Stater Brothers brand because I don't like spending five dollars on a on a small box when I can get it for three bucks, and I get like triple the amount, man. Maybe I get triple the sugar, but I'm okay with it. They taste the same. <laughs> we all grew up on that, man. If you didn't, you didn't have a childhood. But um, we got Brad Beatty. Right, brother. Um, we got uh, Jim B. My wife is a radiologist and loves this project. Um, we got Barney. Burn some toast, Daddy. No, no, no. We said tokens, not toast. Uh, do a Barney. Lunar Eclipse, November 22nd. See, uh, Cody knows what I'm talking about. So we're looking forward to that burn. I don't know how much you guys are committing to, uh, but <coughs> a quad would be nice. <laughs> I need to drink some water. These tricks are drying me up, man. But before we close this off, man, I just um, I, I'm gonna let you uh, say some closing statements or whatever you want to uh, converse over to the community, Lois. But on my end, man, I just want to thank everybody for hopping in here and taking the time to chat with us and chill with us. Uh, I know I extended this longer than I wanted to, but uh, thank you, everybody, man. You guys are the best community out there, and I say this with heart, man. Um, I've been in crypto for a little bit over two years now, and I can honestly say I, I feel like I found a place here with uh, the Lillian Tribe community. I might not engage as much as I want to, but the little time that I do have, obviously, I give it to you guys if I can. But other than that, don't forget, guys, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. Uh, I'm going to leave it to Lewis. That way he can uh, say peace to everybody, man. And you already know the deal. Everybody out there, stay cool. I'm here. just want to say thank you for everyone, right, Brad, again. Barney and Cody, thank you for the opportunity to, to, to step into this role. And all I can say is I'm going to give it my best uh, to to do what I can with with y'all's investment, right, is, is, is put an organization together that will make you proud uh, to talk to your friends and family about. And that's all really that I can do. And, you know, let's rock it out. Let's, let's be the Lily and Tribe that we are and continue to, to spread the word on that. And with that, Cool Crypto, so much appreciation for you and always believing in me also and being a huge advocate of, of the work that I do. And you know that I'm a huge advocate for you and I will do, and I know Brad and Barney and them for the same way, as many exclusives as we can with you uh, because you are a homegrown influencer and let's, let's take back, let's, let's have another live in 12 months, see where we've been. We can do a state of Lindy and Bay foundation as, as my first opportunity to report back to the community on the milestones that we've reached and accomplished. And, I want to make sure that you're the one that, that moderates that discussion. I appreciate you, man. And I will take you up on that. Um, I am here for that. And we will be having many more discussions. So uh, make sure that you guys stay up to date on the Twitter, Telegram, um, you know, everything. Make sure that you guys are signed up. That way you guys can get the latest um, notifications on when we're going to be doing these lives. Now, I know I cut this one uh, real, real short, but um, I, I'm going to try to be a little bit more uniform. It's just... I'm going to use my schedule again as my savior. But yeah, other than that, you guys already know the deal. Everybody out there, stay cool. See you guys.